fluoride. Um, I'm sorry. Can I, can I start over? I don't recommend it. I'm sorry? I said I don't recommend it. Okay. Like if you were playing a football game or something and you started the first play, you wouldn't be like, wait, can I start? <laughs> and now we're eating into your time. Okay, so did you guys know that two-thirds of all Americans have access to fluoridated water? Uh, according to Douglas Maine, who's an author for Live Science. Um, out of those two-thirds, 11 million of those Americans receive their water at an above optimal level of fluoride. Um, ever since 1945, which is when fluoride, uh, water fluoridation was introduced in the United States, it has always been surrounded by a huge controversy. There are groups of people, such as the American Dental Association, who say that it's beneficial for our health. And there's also groups such as the American, I mean, as, such as uh, the Fluoride Action Network, who believe that um, there's a lot of risk associated uh, with fluoride. So what is fluoride? A according to the American Cancer Society, fluorides are substances that combine the element fluorine with other substances. So an example would be sodium fluoride. Um, once, once fluoride enters the body, it is absorbed to the bloodstream through the digestive tract and tends to collect in, high, in areas of high calcium such as bones and uh, teeth. Uh, fluoride is actually found all over the world. It's a very, it's a natural substance and can be found um, in your local water supplies and different foods and different beverages uh, and uh, dental supplies. Um, fluoride is added at a rate of one milligram uh, per liter to water supplies. Um, but the, but in 2015, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services uh, said that the optimal level should actually be 0.7 milligrams uh, per liter. So basically what, how, how fluoride helps your teeth is that it binds to enamel, it strengthens your teeth, and um, prevents acid attacks from different types of bacteria. Um, while the CDC has, uh, did a study that shows that the levels of tooth decay in the U.S. Have, have decreased substantially since the introduction of fluoride in water in 1945. Um, but according to the World Health Organization, uh, there are many countries who do not have fluoride in their water system. And, and um, the levels of tooth decay have also decreased in these countries. So that brings up the question, what is actually the point of having fluoride in your water if countries that have it and countries that don't have it both see decreasing levels in tooth decay for the population. Um, so according to the American Dental Association, um, fluoride is actually very good for you. Um, there are five reasons why the American Dental Association says that fluoride is good for community waters. Uh, first, it prevents tooth decay. Tooth decay is one of the most common childhood diseases in the U.S. and uh, fluoride has effectively shown to prevent uh, to prevent tooth decay um, because it was so uh, flu uh, water fluoridation has been so successful. The CDC named it as one of the top ten public health achievements of the twentieth century. Uh, two, uh, fluoride protect, uh, protects all ages versus cavities. It is uh, it is shown that fluoride in water actually helps prevent twenty five percent of tooth decay of children in children. Third, fluoride is safe and effective. It has been endorsed by several U.S. General, uh, uh, sorry, several certain generals and over 100 health organizations. Uh, four, fluoride also saves money. Um, every one dollar invested in fluoride actually saves 38 dollars worth of uh, uh, dental care. Last, fluoride is natural. Adding more fluoride to water in order to prevent tooth decay is kind of the same concept like adding more vitamin D to your milk to strengthen your bones. Uh, according to fluorideworks.org, adding uh, the annual cost per person uh, for water fluoridation is between 50 cents and two dollars, which is pretty cheap, and it has shown to reduce 40% of cavities, uh, which, which is like a pretty big epidemic in, uh, in the country with over 50% with over of first graders and 80% of 17 year olds having cavities. So um, there's also different organizations against fluoride, such as the Fluoride Action Network, who say that fluoride is a highly toxic uh, substance. Um, it's acute toxicity, which is basically the dose of which you can, the dose of uh, fluoride that can cause short-term effects is slightly more than lead and a little bit less than arsenic. 
So it's um, for this reason, it's found in many different um, rodenticides and pesticides. So what can you do? Um, how can you limit your exposure? You can call your local water supply and uh, to see the levels of fluoride and drink bottled water.